Hey guys, welcome to another Tips and Tricks video. I'm Ash from Escape Studios. Today I'm going to show you how to command line render. Command line rendering is really cool. It means that you can render without opening Maya. So all the processing power your computer would usually use to open Maya is free to speed up your renders. It's going to take a little bit of fiddling behind the scenes, but we're going to figure it out. I'm going to show you what to do. Let's check it out. Okay guys, this is going to be a very useful video, but please watch it first before starting to go through any of the steps, okay? And we are going to fiddle around with your computer a little bit, so it might be best, just to be on the safe side, to set a system restore point, just in case you bugger it up. But I'm sure you won't because you're smart and attractive individuals. So the process of command line rendering is actually quite simple. Essentially, we're going to open up Maya's project folder inside the command line, which is just like the old MS-DOS. We're then going to activate the render command from Maya without opening Maya, allowing it to use your computer's full processing power to render. We're going to have to do a little bit of setting up first. So the first thing we need to do is find out where Maya's render command is. So I've opened up my C drive, go into Program Files, into Autodesk, Maya 2013, or whichever version of Maya you're using, and then into this box called Bin. Now inside Bin, if I scroll down to R, you'll see there's the command Render. Whenever you click Render, that is what activates, okay? So we're gonna activate that without opening Maya. So what I need to do is I need to take a note of where this is in my system. I can do that just by clicking the Windows Explorer bar, and I can see here mine is in C Drive, Program Files, Autodesk, Maya 2013, bin. Yours will, I'm sure, be in exactly the same place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that address. Now I'm just going to shift this over, and now I'm going to open my control panel. I'm going to go to System, and that will bring up this menu, and then I'm going to click on Advanced System Settings. Inside the advanced system settings, don't touch anything else, just click on the environment variables button. Now inside here, there's user variables and system variables. We're going to edit one of the system variables. Now be very careful, don't mess around with anything else in here. I don't know what it does, neither do you. Let's not mess up your computer, okay? So in the system variables, scroll down to P for path. Now there's path, I'm gonna select it, I'm gonna edit it, now, it's already got information there. Don't delete that information. Leave it exactly how it is. All I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll to the end. The last thing mine says is QT system backslash. Yours may say any number of things. Simply go right to the end. So I'm just going to hit the semicolon key on my keyboard. That's a dot and a comma. And then control paste our program file. So all I've added is the dot and comma and then the program file, no spaces. And that's all you need to do. Then click OK. And let's click OK again. Let's get out of here before we mess something up. OK, so I'll get rid of them. I'm going to show you now. Here's my Maya file. It's in Documents, Maya, Projects, and I've called it Tips and Tricks. Yours will, I'm sure, be in a very similar place. So you can see it's a normal project folder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to this folder inside the command line, which is just like the old MS-DOS, OK? So I'm going to press the Windows button. I'm going to type in CMD, which is short for command. And you'll see that only one thing pops up. And I'll click on that. Here we go, OK? So this looks like every hacker movie you've ever seen, because this is how computers used to run. It's telling me that I'm in a folder, OK? We can see it says C users amiles.escape. That's the folder I'm in at the moment. That's not the folder I want to be in. So using the navigation bar in my project folder, I can see that I want to be in X, my documents, Maya, projects, tips and tricks. Now, my project is on the X drive because Escape Studios runs on a server system, so my profile is actually not on my hard drive, it's off on a server. Yours, if you're rendering at home, is going to probably be on a C drive, okay? But for the purpose of this, I do need to nip over to the X drive in DOS. So I'm just going to quickly navigate to the X drive. X double dot, and there I am. If you're rendering at home, you're going to need to stay in your C drive. And you can get to the root of your C drive by typing in CD space backslash enter. And then your screen will look the same as mine, except instead of saying just X, it will say just C. OK, everything else is going to be the same. Now, I need to navigate to first, my documents. You navigate around the command line by typing CD. 
Okay, so I'm going to type cd space my documents and then press enter. And now you see my original line has changed from x to x backslash my documents. Okay, so that tells me that I'm now in my documents. Now I'm going to type cd and m and then I'm going to press tab. What tab does is if I start typing the name of a folder and then press tab, it will fill it in for me knowing where I am in the system. So if I keep pressing tab, you'll see that my Mudbox, my music and my pictures are all in my documents. So I can scroll through all the M's if I keep pressing tab. I'm going to scroll through till I get to Maya and then I'm going to press enter. Now we can move more than one folder at a time, which is what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to do CD space projects backslash and I press T scroll through to tips and tricks and press enter. See I'm now in my project folder X my documents my projects tips and tricks. It's exactly the same as my Windows Explorer. This is where I want to be. Okay. Earlier when we changed the path we basically allowed Maya to find the render command when we type in render. Okay. And to enable it is very simple. I'm simply going to type render. Now that we've navigated to our project file what we're going to do is we're going to press render. Now we're going to specify what scene file to render. Okay. We're going to specify what folder to put the image sequence in. But the thing you absolutely must remember is that Maya takes your render settings from the save file. So if you tell it to render scene number two, if you've specified that you want your renders to come out as a Maya if, and that they were going to do frame one to 50, and that it's going to use mental ray, Maya will automatically use all of those settings. Okay. So if I simply type render and press enter, it would be exactly the same as if I went render batch render whilst Maya was open, which is fine. But to be on the safe side, we're just going to add a few more commands in. Okay. So I'm going to type minus R space mental ray. And that means choose renderer mental ray. So I'm telling it to use mental ray. I'm going to type minus S space one. That means start at frame one minus E frame five, finish at frame five minus B space one. That means it's going to render in one frame increments. So if I put two in here, it would only render every other frame, frame one, frame three, frame five. I don't want that. I want every frame to be rendered. So I'm going to type minus B space one. Now I'm going to type minus RD, which stands for render directory. And now I'm going to tell it where I want my renders to come. So I'm going to say images forward slash creeper. Now, if I just nip over into my project file on the right and open images, you'll see that there isn't a folder called creeper. So it will automatically make that folder when it's making the renders. Okay. Very useful. Now I'm going to type scenes forward slash, and I'm going to tell it what scene I want it to use. I want it to use scene creeper free dot MB. Okay. Make sure you put the full name of the scene in, not just creeper free, but creeper free MB. And then we're ready to roll. So I'm going to hit enter starting C drive, program files, Autodesk, Maya 2013, bin. That's what we put in the path earlier, remember? Okay. So that has allowed it to find Maya batch, which is now batch rendering with using mental rave 2013 file read in zero seconds and it's done. See how fast that rendering was? This is a very simple scene I'm showing, showing you with, and it's still dramatically faster than opening Maya. Okay. So I'm going to open the new folder called creeper and inside it's got creeper image one, two, three, four, and five. And look, there's my little creeper. Hello, little creeper. If you follow those very specific instructions, you will be able to do exactly that. However, there is a lot more you can do with this. If you want to, if you type render minus help, it will show you the help options for the command render. So you can see there's actually a lot we can do. We can test render string, project string. And if you want, you can ask for even more help. It says here, specify a valid minus R option to get more detailed. For example, render minus help minus R SW. I'm going to type that in quickly. Whoa. And look at all that. Look at all the options it just gave me. There's actually quite a lot you can specify on the command line to do with your render. Number of digits in the output input frame. 
what camera you want to use, whether or not you want to turn motion blur on, whether, you're, whether or not you want to turn ray tracing on. You can actually specify your entire render just from the command line if you wanted to. Now obviously you're probably going to only use one or two of these options at a time. What it will do is if you type it into the command line, it will overwrite what's in your Maya file. So only use it on stuff you specifically want to change, okay? I'll say it again, be very careful with this. But if you get your head around it, it can be incredibly powerful. It can speed your renders up dramatically. We hope this has helped you guys out. Hit subscribe now so you don't miss out on any more of our videos. And we'll see you next week.